Good morning, fellow travelers. Just Jeremiah here. Man, I'm tired. Didn't get home last night till like 12.30. I had trouble falling asleep till about like 1.30 and then it's like seven in the morning and I'm headed down to work to go work a shift where I'm just earning 10 bucks an hour and no tips. But what I think's messed up is that the girl who works lunch during the bar, she's always complaining how she has no tables, but she doesn't do any real stuff. And she doesn't complain she has no tables, she complains she has no guests, but I don't think she wants to go wait tables. And I think it's our right to wait tables. So I think what's gonna happen is I'm supposed to wait tables too, but then I'm gonna, there's gonna be conflict when the server who's so used to the other bartender not wanting to, uh, feels that I'm cutting into their money. So basically I'm gonna be coming into work and then I'm not gonna be able to make money without conflict because of someone else's patterns. But even then, when they're like, I didn't have anyone, there's like, not shit done right. I don't know, wah, wah. Just Jeremiah's whining. So, work went well last night. I worked with Allie, she's awesome. I've been, uh, Memorizing the different drinks and I'm starting to move faster in that department uh, It wasn't super busy Let's see That's about it and I have off tonight on Saturday and I'm gonna have a great night and I'm probably gonna just come home and just edit more YouTube because I have like I did honestly I'd say about 200 at least hours of backlog of editing if not more Oh man, it Hurts my brain just to think about it. I want to catch up I need to catch up, but yeah, wow. Uh, so what I'd say is that I'm tired. <laughs> no masks today. It's the official no mask day. Yeah, I brought a mask anyways. Like, are they going to be all weird about it on the bus? You know, like, hey, it's no mask day. What are you talking about? So I guess we'll see how that one goes. But uh, I'll let you go for now. Bye. Setting up the bar in the morning is a lot of work. Uh, the nighttime, they get to come in and just walk into it being set up. And yeah, so luckily they get to give us money from their tips for setting it up. Because yeah, wow, it's a lot of work. I like to make sure the liquor bottles all get lined up in the right order. From lowest to highest, where they showcase them. Uh, in the right order instead of just throwing them up. The juicing takes forever. Oh my gosh. Fresh squeeze orange juice by hand. Fresh squeeze uh, lemon juice and lime juice. They make great drinks. But yeah, it's a lot of work. And uh, it's tough because although you get some recognition, like the nighttime people aren't working day. And I'm not sure if they've ever worked day. So they don't fully understand. Because I could just do it in a way where there's just old juice bottles that the new juice goes into and let it go rotten because I'm sorry that's what was going on before but I don't and I take the extra steps and yeah don't feel like I get the full recognition but I do get paid from the night tips for it so not really much I can say
Jackson 5, here's, I want you back, 60s. Blake told me it's a 60. It's I Want You Back by the Jackson 5.
next selection is Take On Me. Hey there, I just finished work at Il Lupino, which means Little Wolf. And what did I have on me, my, my sleep the other night? Yeah, so of course, due to synchronicities, uh, what did I wait on today? I waited on this chick, and she grew up in the Navajo Indian tribe, and she was telling me some stuff where, wow, uh, it lines right up with that guy, What Lurks Beneath. I'm not gonna share his name, he shared his name, I know his name, but not my place to share it so I'll just call him by his YouTube channel so she told me uh, some stuff that oh my gosh I have to share it she also gave me warnings uh, yeah I'm feeling torn because she was telling me I need to burn sage but then like a lot of the hardcore Christian beliefs say that like sage is bad and I'm like I don't even know what to believe I believe in the power of like the earth and natural stuff I believe in essential oils and it's like Man, I'm a little lost, and I just feel like everything is subverted, and it was a really good shift, and I got to set up the bar, like, it was so good. Uh, I feel good today. I feel great, and I'm excited for an evening to myself, which is going to be me editing. I should go do something outside or go try to find people to be social with, but nah, whatever. I mean, maybe I'll check a meetup. I'll check the meetups now. Let's see what's going on. Loving you. Bye. I'm in a store without a mask. It feels so good. It's good to see your faces. Hello. Oh my gosh, I'm so giddy right now. This is fantastic.